Zisha was the new hero added to Hero Wars Mobile during the Halloween event in 2021. She's an incredible mage, very strong in the right teams, capable of destroying an enemy hero in one single ultimate. But how do you counter Zisha? Well, in this video, I want to talk about two or three ways that you can easily counter her based on team, of course. Maybe you can utilize some of these strategies yourself, or maybe you're leveling up Zisha and you're curious about what teams you should avoid. Only It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and this video is going to be a Hero Wars Mobile look at the new hero, Zisha, how to counter her, what teams to avoid if you're leveling her up, and just a, just an overall discussion on the first couple of days of her being around. These strategies are in place as of the end of 2021. Things might change in the future with the addition of new heroes or new reworks, but until then, this is what we've got. Now, when it comes to this hero, she's a mage, support, intelligence, high single target damage hero. If you take a look at her skills, you will see the key in defeating her. Her ultimate ability, the Deadly Ray, this is the big one that everybody's so worked up about. It's a very large magic attack modifier at 125%. You can see that down here at the bottom. And she targets the enemy with the lowest magic defense. So not only is it a high damage output single target attack, but it's targeting the enemy with the most likelihood of being destroyed in a single hit. If you take a look at HeroWarCentral.com, hover over heroes and click on mobile max stats right here. You can sort magic defense for all of the different heroes and you can kind of get an idea of some of her big targets. Obviously, Kark has the lowest magic defense in the game. Ishmael, Artemis, Elmir, Kira, uh, Tristan, Astrid Lucas, the, you know, the list goes on and on. Aurora has the lowest magic defense of any tank and you know one of the lowest magic defenses overall, but not a great target for Zisha because of her violet ability. We're not really gonna get into that too much here. But if you are interested in countering Zisha and you wanna focus on the magic defense play, you want to include high magic defense heroes and the heroes that has the lowest magic defense, whatever it ends up being, you want to make sure that they've got a pretty high health. It's a, this is a pretty boring strategy. So if we take a look at the artifact weapon options that we have, there's not a lot of magic defense heroes uh, in the list. Cornelius, Marcus, Maya, Pepe, Phobos, Anthea. Uh, of course, Isaac with the green border shows for mobile. So Isaac is a magic defense artifact weapon hero as well. Having one or more of these heroes in your team would be a great way to slow down the damage output of that Zisha, specifically on that single hero that you're dealing with. There is a hero that you can use to kind of game her magic defense system a little bit, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. It's not the top way to defeat her, but it is an interesting way to defeat her. When it comes to mage hunters in Hero Wars Mobile, the first one that comes to mind is going to be Cornelius. Now, Cornelius has this ultimate ability that hits the enemy with the highest intelligence with the monolith, dealing a ton of damage, a large amount of damage in one hit. You may need to boost Cornelius's damage output with a nebula or an armor penetration hero because this is a physical damage attack in order to get it high enough to one hit Zisha. Certain Zishas are gonna be a little bit tankier than others. But if you look at her intelligence, only three heroes have higher intelligence than Zisha. She's got 11,766. Jet Cornelius and Alvinor have higher intelligence. If you're trying to defend your team, against Cornelius, then you're going to want to include one of these three heroes. Cornelius, your own Cornelius to counter the enemies. Zisha would be fun. Alvinor, of course, we all know why he's there, but Alvinor and Zisha kind of serve the same purpose on what they're good at doing. Some of their utility, I should say. And you wouldn't normally include Jet into a mage team, but I guess it is possible that you could. So often going to be the case, Zisha is going to be exposed, having the highest intelligence at least at max level, to an enemy Cornelius. So Cornelius is going to be one of the biggest ways to counter Zisha. So after we look at Cornelius as a means to counter Zisha, we got to take a look at the other two mage hunter heroes in the game. You have Tristan and you have Phobos. The problem with Tristan and Phobos when it comes to Zisha, and this is the really unfortunate part about this whole situation, is Cornelius targeting highest intelligence is an effective counter to Zisha, right? Tristan is going to counter the hero with the highest magic penetration. He's got this blue ability right here that will burn off the energy of the enemy with the highest magic penetration. And then you have Phobos here. Phobos' entire skill set is designed to hunt mages with the highest magic attack. Zisha will have high magic attack, but not until way late into the fight. Remember, Zisha has this ability to gain permanent magic attack bonus over the course of the fight as her allies self-damage. The problem that I can see with the magic attack conversation is looking at the list of heroes sorted by magic attack, you can see that she's pretty far down. You have a lot of heroes above her with much higher magic attack. 
and while using that violet skill she will gain a ton of magic attack it won't be until later on in the fight when potentially she could have already killed a couple of your heroes possibly making it so the phobos is going to be a non-issue here and looking at the heroes above zisha with magic attack a lot of these you would consider using with zisha morgan of course to counter the rufuses you have celeste a nice solid healer mage Peppy, of course, is a chaos hero. Dorian is a chaos hero. So there's a number of heroes in this list above Zisha with magic attack, which is going to prevent Phobos from being a good counter. Looking at Tristan, there are quite a few heroes above Zisha with higher magic penetration as well. And Zisha does not have a magic penetration artifact. She's going to be relying on another hero to provide her magic penetration. And one of those heroes happens to be a chaos hero, Lilith. Lilith at base has 11,000 higher magic penetration than Zisha does and will benefit from that artifact weapon just as much as Zisha will. So typically speaking, Tristan is not going to be a good counter for chaos teams because of this. Lilith's magic penetration is just way too high. And a lot of a lot of teams that don't use Lilith are going to use Peppy, who has the highest magic penetration in all of Hero Wars Mobile. So that effectively leaves just Cornelius as the main counter for Zisha. Again, boost his damage output one way or another to make sure he kills her in one hit, and that's how you're going to do it. Lastly, I want to mention one more strategy that was discovered not too long ago, a very fascinating idea using Krista to counter Zisha. Now, stay with me, guys. She's got 17,000 magic defense, and look at all of these heroes above her. Look at all of these heroes above Krista. These represent all of the heroes that have less magic defense than Krista. Now you might not ever target Krista with Zisha. It may never happen, but if it does, if somehow you don't have that high magic defense, if there's none of these heroes above that on your team, and you could build your own team around this if you really wanted to. Krista has this violet ability right here, this crystallization. When in danger of taking major damage, Krista summons an ice block that protects the caster for two seconds by partially absorbing any incoming damage. This will effectively block a good chunk of the damage from Zisha's ultimate. It doesn't matter how much damage that ultimate does. By the way, this ability is also what keeps Cornelius from one hitting her every time. It can still happen occasionally, but this ability, if, like I said, if you can get Krista's magic defense lower than every other hero on your team, you could include Krista in. If you're not building a team, just purposely not leveling up our magic defense glyph, that is another interesting way to counter Zisha. And guys, if you are leveling up Zisha yourself, I think it goes without saying, try to avoid any teams with Rufus, unless you have a Morgan, and try to avoid any team with Cornelius. These are going to be the main ways along with stacking magic defense artifacts to counter Zisha. While I have you guys, check out the video that's on screen now. It's going to discuss my first look into Zisha and then the Halloween event itself that she was launched in. Please watch those videos if you've got a little bit of time. Consider leaving a like on this video if you found it helpful. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.